from Carl Penny uh, that helped us with the uh, centennial efforts this year and did a magnificent job. So, Carl, I think we'll take the show. I think I'll just speak from here. Okay. Um, I want to say thank you for having me here today so that I can sort of wrap up our year as uh, the 2012 the Chamber's 100th year. Uh, just a very quick review. We had uh, in May a terrific luncheon. Many of you were there where we uh, recognized all of the uh, wonderful history of Valdosta, uh, the, the history of the Chamber in the past 100 years. The presidents and chairmen were all invited by invitation only, and we went through the progress of the Chamber through the uh, community over the past 100 years. It was very well received, and I think one of the most outstanding moments of the morning was when Myrna did a wonderful presentation of John B. Lastinger's years at the helm of the Chamber, and um, really thrilled him to make this year, I believe. We also had Metro One develop 100 fun things to do in Valdosta, and I can't tell you how many people there are around town who are working on the list. The list uh, would require an annual uh, dedication for the year because there were so many one-time events that are annual events in Valdosta that people want to do. attend to complete the list of 100 things to do and, and actually accomplish all of these things. We had a wonderful gala here at the conference center September 8th. It was a really lovely evening. We dealt with our uh, tree project as our decor and heard from many that the conference center had never looked so beautiful uh, under a starry night and we danced the night away to a wonderful band from Macon called the Grapevine Band and lots of people said they wanted us to do this again so my goodness I don't know if you weren't there it was a really good time. Our main project of the year, though, was the Centennial Tree Project, and that is ongoing. Uh, to bring you up to date, we do still have trees for sale. We do have trees to plant as well. We are going to plant the remaining trees primarily on the Gornto Road extension. And we were hoping that these trees would be going in the ground right now, but the city did have delays on the completion of this project. Of course, the landscaping is the last thing to happen, so this will have to happen in 2013. But it does allow us to carry forward this tree project uh, into the future, and so we are still working on selling trees, and we have a few more to plant also at the entrance to the airport. But if you have not been down St. Augustine Road, please go soon. It's looking <coughs> beautiful. Um, Buddy McDonald and McDonald Nurseries was the uh, winning bid for the landscaping, and he's providing the trees and uh, one year of maintenance on the trees before the city takes over. And he has updated me to the fact that out of 65 trees down St. Augustine Road, only one has had to be replaced. And so they are growing and uh, showing off our community at the entrance uh, from the airport to our conference center area in just a beautiful, beautiful way. I would like to recognize my committee that has helped throughout this project. Um, Lori Holly with the Southeastern Federal Credit Union, and Shenton with Next Step Technologies, uh, Sue Cox with Covington's Catering, and then for the um, Centennial Ball, we pulled in um, uh, Patty Girardin with Girardin Jewelers to help us put on that huge party, and also with the Tree Project, we called in Kevin Conrad from Community um, Citizens Community Bank, and Commercial banking company. I always say that. Uh, Tim Jones, of course, was on our committee as our overseer, and we also worked very highly with uh, Stacy Griffin, who is the city's city of Valdosta arborist. Um, it's been a real pleasure to be at the helm of this project uh, to make the centennial year for the Valdosta community, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, notable and outstanding for the next 100 years as we look forward. And I think possibly Tim might have a tree-related uh, 
special presentation. Before I get to that, Carl, I would just like to say to you, thank you so, so much for your leadership. We could not have picked a better person to uh, lead us through this year, the centennial year, and we just want to give you a tremendous round, round of applause for what you've done this year. Thank you.